Hey guys, Wester here. Hey listen, um, just wanted to give you a bit of a rundown on how to set up your gyro for um, heading hold mode. Okay, um, it's probably been covered in a lot of places before, but um, first of all, you need to make sure that you've got 90 degrees to your servo, um, the arm to servo. Okay, um, because if it's not at 90 degrees, you're going to get your servo overacting one way and maybe not going to get enough travel, travel another way. I'm not going to go into how to set that up. Basically, there's two ways you can find this. Basically, power up. It needs to be in um, normal rate mode, so you don't want to do this in AVCS mode. Has to be in rate mode um, to take that to, to make sure you're in rate mode. Just pull out your your uh, gyro cable out of channel five and just plug channel four from the servo straight into the into the receiver in channel four with no no channel five gyro input. That will give you a, a normal central. Make sure you have zero sub trims and zero trims. Zero trims on here and 100%. Um, Rudd of travel left and right, okay? Well, 100 on each one. Okay, now the biggest confusing thing, um, yeah, basically to get this 90 degrees, once you've initialized it, you need to pivot or pivot each point until you get one of these that lines up with 90 degrees. So if you can't do that, you can go into your menu and go to your sub trim and set up your sub trim don't do the um, trimming just do it on your sub trim because the sub trim will will stick in every single mode normal um, idle up one idle up two okay so sub trim is the one to do there so that will actually if I adjust the sub trim here on the rudder um, you watch I'll bring it back I've actually cheated and, and gone um, sub trim method so we'll put it on zero, and as you can see, that's not at 90 degrees, it's a little bit that way, okay? So I'll find that when I adjust the sub trim, see so it comes round. So you want to get it round to it's at 90 degrees. Okay? Um, and then you want to make sure you set your... Um, Travel, your limit travel. You don't set your limit travel with the limit travel with the um, sub trim in here. You set the limit travel either through the gyro menu um, with a digital gyro like this Mini G or something. You set it up on the um, uh, in, in, in the menu and you reset it all. But uh, on a, on your manual, like a one with the little dials on it, you actually set the limit with the limit uh, adjustment. But it has to be in rate mode to do that. Now how do we get into rate mode and how do we get into AV, ACVS mode? Okay, then very good questions. Um, I'm not going to bore you with the uh, intricacies of it all. But what, what we'll do is there's two different types of uh, setup. And it depends on basically on your maximum end travel that your radio is set up for. So if I look at all these channels are the same range, but if I go into my rudder and I actually hit the max it out and see how far it goes, this goes up to 150 in each direction. Okay. So some radios like Futaba, they only go to 130. Um, and the calculation's a bit different for setting up your gain on those radios compared to these. Um, there's a simple formula to use. Um, basically your true gain is not what it says on the radio. So if you're using the gyro channel you can do it two ways. You can either do it through your um, if your radio's got a gyro setup menu you can do it through your gyro channel and that's um, where is it? Gyro sensing Okay, now, when you first get that, it'll be set up at 100-100. Uh, 
Okay, so what we need to do is get to get it out of 50%, we'll bring it out of AVCS mode into normal mode. So what I'll do, actually it's 49 on this one, so it's a little wee bit out. You can hear it humming. Okay, so what I need to do now, I, I usually bring the, just for setting up rate mode, set, bring it around to about 32%. Okay, now, um, that's just a, and, and to tell whether you're in rate mode, when you move the rudder, like left to right, out of the way. When I'm moving that like left and right, it's always returning back to the centre straight away, right? Which is perfect. Now when you're in AVCS mode, it doesn't do that at all. It actually you give it a little wee bit of stick input and it just goes right over to hard to that side because the gyro is expecting the helicopter to move and then counter it. But um, so don't be alarmed if you just give it a little bit of stick and it goes all the way across and jams on the far side and then go to the other way and it goes all the way to the other side, okay? So don't worry about that too much. So what we'll do is basically to set it up, start off with about a true gain of about, to, to get a, a basically heading hold to work, set it up um, so that your Uh, AVCS mode, so anything above 50% is holding in, into heading hold mode. Anything below 50% or 49 as you can see on this one um, puts it into rate mode. Alright, so this is just for setup. Once you've got your um, mechanical setup perfect in, in rate mode, you can actually set them both identical once you've got it dialed in. So what you want to do is start off at um, true gain of 32% as a, as a start point. Now everybody should, should set it up as 32% and then once you've got that you start up, uh, hover it and see if you get any wag. If you're not getting any wag, um, just to slowly increase it by three points and until you get it to wag and then back it off and, and when it stops wagging you've got perfect. It's never going to be the same for every single helicopter. All the all gyros are different etc etc. But 32% is not 32% in here because as you can see I've only got 0 to 100 so basically 50% is a halfway or 49 on this one because 49 is where the gyro is sensing that the, the um, radio is giving the signal to switch over so how do we work that out we want we want 32% over the the halfway mark so that's not going to be 32 at all so what you do is I've worked this out. It's actually it's actually a calculation to work out to, to get back to true gain. Is you get your calculator out. It is. Um, let's just say we thought we'd set this to 75. So take it down to 75. Right. And what does that give us in true gain? Because that's not actually true gain because it's somewhere between the 0 and the 100% uh, mark so we don't know what that is so what you do is you put in the 75 which is what we've got here you uh, minus 50 so we've got 75 minus 50 times 1.44 and that gives us 36 so that's a little bit too high so we want to drop that down say so drop that down to 72 and see what happens so clear that 72 minus 50 times 1.44 that gives you 31.68 and that's that's pretty close to what we want 32 all right so we'll leave that at 72 because that's giving us 32 percent gain which should be perfect um, and then what we're going to do now is give it a hover and see what happens. So start off at 32, that's a good setting point for most helicopters. Um, and once you've actually got that set, set your um, your hold mode back to 
the same as what you're uh, so I've got this actually sitting in if you got see this it's got function mode normal stunt and hold and I've got throttle hold when I release throttle hold it actually um, changes everything so but what you need to do now now that you've made those setting changes turn your you need to turn the um, receiver off turn your radio off and on and then reinitialize and it takes a little while for the gyro to actually initialize as you can see right so how I like to actually leave it in um, leave my two settings so that I've got my hold mode in normal rate mode and uh, AVCS in throttle hold off so basically if I've got the hold off it's um, doing its thing and that way I can just double check my see I've got see if you, if you watch this I'll flick it into normal mode so, so everything goes back into normal but you watch what happens when I stick it into heading mode and give it a little wee bit of stick just a little wee bit it's going all the way across and I did nothing I just gave it a little bit of stick now if I give it a little bit the other way see it goes all the way across And you and you you struggle to get it back in the centre, okay? So what you got to do is when when you're actually starting to take off, you've got to flick it a little bit left and right to get it so that it's actually going to hold, all right? So we'll just power that down.